Hi, I'm Jill Galloway. I'm an artist educator at the Smithsonian's National Portrait Gallery. In today's Drawn to Figures lesson, we're going to use the sculptures found within the collection at the Portrait Gallery as our subjects for our study. We're looking at sculptures that are made of one material, like marble, clay, bronze, because we want to eliminate the idea of looking at flesh tones and just look at the value studies within the portrait. So while the sculpture is 3D, we're working from photographs, which is flat. So that makes for a really interesting study when you practice your value studies in drawing. Let's get started. When we look at photographs of sculptures, you're getting the 2D version or flat version of 3D art or rounded art. The beauty of practicing portraits from sculptures is your model is all one color, so you can clearly see the very subtle value changes as the head turns back in space without the distraction of flesh tones. For today's lesson, I'm going to use charcoals. I like extra fine vine charcoal. It's thinner and soft and works really well for blending. The harder the charcoal is, the harder it is to blend and erase. I'm blending with my finger here, but you have to be really careful when you do that. If you have any oils on your fingers, it will mark up the paper. You can use a sable brush like this one with soft bristles or a bristle brush like this one. Notice how the sable lifted the charcoal and the bristle blends it. I'm also using a kneaded eraser, which is an eraser that you can pull through and shape into a fine point. This is a tortillion or a stump that you can use for blending. And I also have a white plastic eraser. These guys come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, so they're great for erasing. And lastly, this is a chamois, which pulls everything off. So if you don't like what you've worked on, just take it away. My subject for today is Andrew Jackson. I pulled this image from our website, and you can do the same by going to www.mpg.edu. To find some good sculptures to work with, just go to Portrait Search and type in sculptures or busts, and you'll get a selection there. You can either freehand draw your sculpture, or if you're feeling like you just want to practice value studies, flip your printout over, add a tone to the back, and then lay the printout on top of your paper. Just retrace the head from there, and you'll get a carbon copy image on your charcoal paper. Then you can begin adding values as you're ready. Remember, when you add values, start with the biggest shapes first. Look for the lightest spaces, the darkest spaces, and then the medium spaces. And then within each of those blocks of color, start to pull out the finer tones. When you're working with values, you're constantly asking yourself, is it lighter, or is it darker? You're comparing sections of the face with each other. Also remember to work side to side. So if you're working on one eye, move to the other eye. If you're working on one side of the mouth, move to the other side of the mouth, comparing and contrasting. If you wanna take this one step further, you can try something different here and divide up your drawing by cutting it into pieces and then relaying it out like I did here with Andrew Jackson's portrait. Thanks so much for joining me for today's Drawn to Figures lesson. When it comes to value studies, there is really no amount of practice that's enough. The more you practice, the better you'll get. And you can take this as far as you want to. So keep practicing, and we'll see you next time.